Hi, I'm Paul from Contact Renovation and Custom Homes. Today I want to talk to you about plank or vinyl plank flooring. So we get a lot of people asking about what products to put in their homes and there's lots of options out there. Everyone refers to LVP now or luxury vinyl plank and that's kind of a broadly used term in the flooring industry. There's also luxury vinyl tiles and there's also a stone plastic composite which is a similar product but it's got a more rigid core. So we'll talk a bit about those and what you might want to choose based on your budget and performance of the floor and where it's going to be getting installed. So your classic vinyl plank floor or luxury vinyl floor, um, you know, there's some that are that can be glued down, they're inexpensive, they have lots of different finishes, um, but as for this example here, they're, they can be very thin and very flexible, which if this is going, when this is installed, it has to be installed on a very smooth and level surface. So there are some limitations in there, but this would be your most affordable option. Um, then we, as you move up into something like a luxury vinyl plank, you'll have uh, different options within the looks again and what the backing might be on those products. But some of them can still be a little bit flexible, so they do require a substrate to be very rigid and level. So here's an example of different products here. This one, as you can see, has a foam backing, so it gives it a bit of insulation value and kind of softens the feel a bit of the wood. Whereas we have another product here where this has a, a cork back. So again, it gives insulation value, some sound dampening, and, um, and softens the feel. So it's really, the products really vary. I, depending on what you want to install and what your budget's like, I mean, these products will certainly cost a lot more than uh, a lower end vinyl floor product, but sometimes they actually might save you some money because there's a lot of floor prep that has to go into installing these thinner, vinyl products that require a new um, underlay being installed or lots of floor smoothing and leveling. Whereas these can be installed over almost any solid surface. So for example, we did a project recently for a client who had tile throughout her main floor and wanted to change to the look of wood, but wanted to use vinyl. If we'd used one of these products, we would have had to tear out all of the tile and prep the surface, probably adding another 3 8 underlay to smoothen it all out. Um, the square foot rate on this material is quite a bit less to purchase it, but on the flip side, this SPC product, we didn't have to remove the tile as a result. So we were able to install this directly over the tile flooring, which in the end saved them a couple thousand dollars on the project total. So yes, the cost per square foot was quite a bit higher to buy the product, but the end result, the bottom line, was less than with one of these cheaper products. So as you consider your floorings, flooring options, you need to also talk to your contractor and find out what makes the most sense on the bottom line for you and also what you would like for your finish and appearance. There's so many different colors available and patterns. It can look like uh, wood, which is most common. It can look like tile. It can look like stone. It's really, there's so many options, but really you need to find the product that works best depending where you're going to install it. These are all fairly weather resistant or water resistant. Um, just a matter of what look you want what finish you want and and how much you want to spend. If you have questions, send them out in the comments here and we'll be happy to answer or give us a call. And um, as usual, we look forward to talking to you next time. Uh, we'll talk about countertop options and what works best for you.